Hello, so today we're going to fix my scooter. The problem is that the valve in the tire was ripped, so I had to replace it. Uh, at first I ordered a batch of valves, but as you can see, these ones are a little bit too large for this thing. And since size matters, we have to find the right size for this tire. And it actually turned out to be smaller. Smaller is better in this case. So anyway, um, turns out you have a number of options if you want to replace the valve. One is to use something like the C-clamp. So you push back the tire so you can put this thing from inside. Um, the other option is to use these kinds of tire spoons. And they can be useful. But the third option is to just don't do any of that and try to push things from outside. Um, so to do that, we can use like a valve stem holder, something like this. So the way it works is I put the valve here. So the idea is then I should push this so it goes in and I should also make sure that it sort of clicks and that way I can make sure that it stays there. For now, let's just try to push this inside. Easier said than done. So I put some dish soap on the tip of the valve, or is it the rear end? I don't know, but we're gonna push it. As you can see, <clears throat> the tip is too thick to go inside of this hole. So we're gonna have to fight it. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna use a hammer to ham this thing. I'm gonna hammer this thing. So I'm gonna keep it stable here and use the hammer to push it in. Zero progress so far. So it seems like we do need to use one of these tools. I haven't even removed the tag on this thing, I just got it from Amazon. So the way it works is this. All right, well, I can see the hole from the other side. I need to use a tool like this. Gotta push this through the hole from the other side. The tool is rusty, so that doesn't work. What else? We do have spoons. I'm gonna push it back, but I know the hole is here. I'm gonna focus on the hole here. Problem, it's so tight in there that we can't even put our fingers in there. So, uh, we're gonna use some tool like this, and let's use another spoon. All right, this sounds like something we can work with, but ideally we would like to remove the tire so we can hold these spoons like this and insert the thing in there. But we can't do that because, because it's a lot of mess. If we wanna remove the tire, it's gonna cause a lot of mess. Um, so what do we do? One option is to grow a third hand and just insert the thing with the third hand. That's not an option, so I'm gonna hold it like this. Hmm, okay. At this point, what do we do? I'm gonna find a funnel in the house. Funnel, I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but worth a shot. So it's actually kinda finicky because like you have to hold the funnel and hold the valve, right? So let's first put it in. Genius idea, what if I put like dish soap inside the funnel? That'll make it easier. All right, dish soap added. I am going to now shove the valve in the funnel and then let's see what happens. Catastrophic failure. Because of the dish soap, now it kind of doesn't stay in one place in the funnel. We'll have to find a way to keep it there. It's not going in. What do we do? How do we shove something inside this little hole? Probably not possible, huh? So I applied some lubricant on this <clears throat> and on the tip. All right, new strategy. I'm just gonna use my fingers to push it in. I don't know, it's honestly, it's tighter than I expected. Let's get to it. You guys see this? Yeah, all right. Seems like we're making some progress. The tip is a little bit in. Now we're gonna go, oh, come on. The light just keeps falling. We're gonna go keep pushing it in. All right, no. So I'm using spoons now, and I'm holding one of them like this. Gotta be very, very careful, okay? Like, the tip of it is in there, okay? Slowly, yes! All right, now I'm going to secure the valve from behind and use this tool to pull it out. Let's Success! So now that this is secure here, we're gonna unscrew this. As you can see, 
the valve is stable here. So now we gotta put the tire back into its position. So as you saw, the tire popped and now we have 19 PSI, but we have to keep going. We're gonna pump some more air. And now another part of the tire popped. So now we have 45 PSI air inside of this thing. I'm gonna keep waiting here to see if the air pressure goes down, because that would indicate that there is still some gap that needs to be sealed. All right, now it's at the right PSI and we're good to go.